A very good evening to all of you gentlemen. My name is architect Prashant Bharathwaj and today's our lecture topic is goods and services tax. So basically let's talk about the history and the background of the goods and services tax in term of the global level. The GST formation concept was for first opted by the country France in the mid 20th century in 1954 where the concept was to uh, basically reduce the other major taxes and also combine the all type kind of taxes into the one which ultimately provides the ease of doing business as well as it also uh, basically lead the citizen uh, lead the citizen to pay that uh, to become the taxpayer as well talking about the historical part that during uh, the first foundation of the gst was laid by the nda government in 2000 after that it was uh, uh take over by the government you by the upa government under the finance minister p chidambaram where several uh, 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 proposal was made on uh, to implement the gst in the country after uh, that several committees was formed to uh, uh, for the research and development purpose and to basically figure out the formation in the way forward to implement the gst concept in the country then finally there were several uh, amendment happens the uh, which is uh, very well known as the 122nd amendment bill which came into enforce in the august 2016 after the uh, after taking the approval of the lok sabha then uh, in august 2016 rajya sabha uh, taken permission by rajya sabha in 2016 august then basically it was implemented in the country in the, to form the igst cgst sgst into the one factor because it was necessary in terms of india as we are uh, uh, we are a nation of the under development we are a nation in under developing uh, country basically and also we need to improve our economy the gst was the major i would say the smart step taken by the government to um, uh, to uh, make the citizenship aware about the gst bills where uh, uh, if we talk about the benefits of the gst we can easily find out that the gst will provide the ease of doing business as well as it also provides that clear transparent tax uh, paying system in the government as well as also many of the uh, i would say companies or the uh, unicorns the business unicorn believes in working in the gst nowadays itself and uh, for, for for on record last year only uh, last uh, last year in uh, uh, last financial year in uh, during march uh, we observed the uh, uh, tax paying record on the global level where uh, the uh, was treated by the uh, income tax department itself um, in the collection revenue now talking about the gst how gst work and also basically what are the disadvantages of the gst so basically gst majorly provide beneficiaries to the major unicorns business tycoons or the major organization in the city because under 20 lakh of the business revenue or the company they, uh, it won't give that much uh, uh, i would say beneficiaries if some company has the turnover of 20 lakh uh, in a year then the gst won't provide that much of the beneficiaries uh, beneficiary to that organization but if it come to the companies which uh, has the turnover of uh, uh, 10 crore or 100 crore or 1000 crore then that that can become uh, i would say uh, uh, basically uh, uh, wish uh, i would say basically a vardan uh, for that particular organization because that uh that is going uh, well uh, that is going on uh, with this that level of the organization very well so now talking about the basically the gst was organized in five major sector where the uh, uh, basically percentages of the tax was formed from the uh, 5% up to the 28% on the level of the luxuries on high luxuries uh, costly or luxury suvs the 28% of the tax uh, will be implemented and if we talk about the food and greens almost the 0% of the tax was implemented into the that particular criteria now talking about how it is leading india uh, uh, into the direction of the um, tax revenues as well so basically uh, 
we can clearly see our uh, gdp growing uh, if we talk about the last year then we can clearly see we have the raise of uh, 1.2% to 2.5% uh, in the gdp itself as well as there is a beneficiary to the uh, individual as well because in the name of the vat uh, in the name of the uh, vat igst cgst in different kinds of taxes right now what we are working on we are we are only paying 18% of taxes in the name of gst where we can clearly see which was early if we talk about the earlier process where we need to provide we need to pay the uh, i would say uh, the tax up to 25 to 30% but clearly right now if we talk about the current scenario we are just paying up to the 17% of the tax so basically that's that that is also good uh, and uh, that is improving lifestyle as well now talking about the drawbacks of the gst basically the first and the major one is that it, it 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 goes well with the biggest organization and the unicorn business tycoons as well as uh, we have a uh, small micro enterprises business up to the 75% which is currently running in the current which is currently running in the country so uh, the gst won't work uh, that beneficiary for that particular uh, uh, area so india also need to work on several development factors also talking about the conclusion part gst is a good uh, basically concept for the nation to uh, or the country like india which is uh, the uh, which becomes the uh, one of the largest uh, democratic country in the world uh, by taking over china uh, in the population also now what we need to do is we also need to work on our uh, entrepreneurship program where we can uh, able to produce more and more business and the manufacturing units due to which we can easily uh, uh, basically uh, take the beneficiaries of the gst and as well as we also lead the country into the direction of the make in india initiative as well as sabka saath sabka vikas jai hind gentlemen jai